idea behind the frequency separation is to retouch structure like the pores in the skin and tones on a separate layer. My name is Michael Schnabel and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how I use this powerful and amazing technique to retouch my portraits. This image of Simone was shot on one of my portrait photography workshops in Graz. And although she's already really pretty on this image, we can enhance her beauty even more with some skin retouching. And for this purpose, I really like to use the frequency separation. As I mentioned earlier, the idea behind the frequency separation is to retouch the tones on a separate layer and the structure on a separate layer. For this reason, we make two copies of the background layer. This works very easily with the shortcut command J. And then on the first layer, we will retouch our tones, our colors. So we name the first layer tones. And on this second layer, we will have the texture. So we call or name this layer texture. And then we group these two layers and call the group skin retouching. Okay, then we turn the texture layer in Whisper. Make sure that the tone layer is selected. Then go to Filter, Noise, Dust and Scratches. And there we have to choose a radius where the skin texture, the pores, are just not visible anymore. So a radius from about 11 or 12, I think 14 is too much. 11 works quite well, so I'm fine with this setting. Next I go to this texture layer. Make sure that it, is, that it is selected and then go to image, apply image. Okay, there are already the settings we need. We have to make sure that the tones are selected, the tone layer inverted. Choose the blend mode, add, scale to and offset zero. It also works uh, when you not choose this invert function, when you choose subtract, a scale of 2 and the offset of 128, you get the same results. Okay, and as you can see now, only the texture is left on this layer. So we have the opportunity to retouch only the texture on this layer and to make this gray invisible, choose the blend mode, linear light. Perfect. And as you can see, we have the texture on one layer now and on the other layer, the tones. Okay, and now I start to retouch the textures, all the things I want to get rid of, and I start with these hairs. For this purpose, I use the spot healing brush tool, it works really cool. And the only thing you have to do is to paint over the textures you want to get rid of. And you're only affecting the textures now. 
colors because the colors and the tones are on a different layer. So I go over all the blemishes and imperfections I want to get rid of. Also here on the lips are some spots and imperfections I want to remove. Works really cool, as you can see. Here are also some hairs I want to remove. Works really great. I really love this method. And I really use it in almost all of my portraits. So also here in the eyebrows we have to remove some of the hair also here these veins the white of the eye and the, the hair here very easy to remove with this technique so maybe I try to remove also this eyelashes here standing into the eye into the white of the eye and for this purpose I tried with the patch tool Yeah, works really cool. I think this is the work which uh, takes the most time in the retouching process to get rid of hairs, blemishes, all this stuff you have to remove. I think when you will see the result you will also see that that it's worth it okay You also can remove these little wrinkles. But I never remove all the wrinkles. I don't want to create a plastic skin, a doll face or something like that. I think it makes sense to remo remove this hair too, or these hairs. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah. 
Yeah, skin looks very nice now. Now you also have to do is this uh, in the neck and chest area, of course. Also remove some of the hairs here, which this hair which is going over the chest area. Not all the hair, of course, it's too much work. So, I think this is enough here. What we see here are some spots and uh, uneven skin with darker and lighter areas. And all these things we will retouch on the tone layer afterwards. So, okay, I think the retouching of the texture is ready now. Then we select the tone layer and here I use this technique. I choose the lasso tool with a feather uh, depending on how much pixels your image has and how big the skin is in the, uh, the the face is in the image and so on so this value depends on the image and i make a selection here from half of the face and with by pressing the Q button, you can see the feathering of your selection. And I think uh, this here works quite well. And then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I think a radius, I, I, I do it a little bit more strong now, or stronger now, so that you can see the results of this technique. So I, I choose a radius of 19 now, but, or 20, but I'm not always using such a strong setting, such a big radius. Okay. Then I make the next selection. And with command F, it uses uh, the last used filter again. And so it works very, very quickly. We only have to do or to make some selections of areas of the face or the skin uh, which you want to get even. And then press Command and F to repeat the last filter. In our case, the Gaussian Blur. And as you can see, the skin is getting very very even now only with this technique technique and it works really very very fast we also have to do this of course in the neck or end on the chest area as you can see we have a lot of spots and uneven areas here and if you think that the same setting here is too much, maybe it makes sense, with edit, undo, we can go back, to choose a slightly lower setting here. So we go again to blur, Gaussian blur. And okay, here I only choose a setting from 
a radius about 13. But these settings depend on the image. They are not always the same. Cool. Okay, we also go over this area, this chest area with Command F. And also here on the shoulder. As you can see, the, the skin is very, very even now. And the image is uh, get, getting a little bit flat now. So for contouring and to get more three-dimensionality back into the image, I use the touch and burn method. So that was the way how I use the frequency separation. Let's have a look on the before and the after. This was the before. Maybe I zoom in a little bit to see the face even better. So that was the before and that is the after. Before and after. This is how the image looks after some touch and burn. And the last step is that I add a color look to all of my images. And yeah, this image looks like this after adding some color look. I did this with Alien Skin Exposure. And yes, I really like the result. I hope you like it too and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned.